What's up? What's up, everybody? I hope y'all are doing well out there. I want to thank you guys for tuning in to Real Labs on Real Radio 104.1. The voice you're hearing, uh, Ken calls me the teddy bear. That's right. The teddy bear of Orlando Comedy is Mr. James John in the studio, man. Having a great, great night. Glad you guys could be with us. Want to remind you to catch me on uh, Afro TV, man. The third largest black owned network in america man catch my show the lowdown i'm joining virtual studio today with some people that i know and love first you know him and love him he is the podcast father of orlando that's right he's from the podcast a, with a side of chaos almost said it wrong i want to make sure i say that right and aaron morse law firm as well i'm talking about patricio aka rocky in the building rocky how you doing today man I'm doing good. I, I virtually got beat up last night, but, you know, I, I, survived. <laughs> yeah. I survived. Yeah, we'll talk about that in a second. You had us all fooled, man. <laughs> and I also got my man, Mr. Ken Miller, the Orlando Godfather of Orlando Comedy, man. He's actually on the road right now, so he's coming to us live from a hotel room. You can smell <laughs> the gonorrhea on his sheets. Right. It smells <laughs> <laughs> smell like pasta in here. That's what it smells like. I had the um, olive vodka. The chicken out of vodka last night uh, and Basadis. And um, uh, bro, I got home last night. You know, you know, poor Sean, it ain't nothing to do. It ain't nothing, nothing to do. I went to a bar, wasn't nobody there. I came back to the room, heated the food up, put the parmesan, the salt pepper mm. on it. I was eating, got up, brushed my teeth, fell asleep. I was like, man, bro, this room smelled like parmesan cheese. And, and, <laughs> and the pasta was sitting on the, on, the, on the table right next. I just rolled over and I was just smelling it, bro. Smelling it. <laughs> I was like, oh. But yeah, if you ever in Port Charlotte, guys, you got to go to Vasani's. Oh, As comics, bro. we're here all week. So I get a different dish every night. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. I'm going to tell you right now, Ken, two things, man, on that. First off, Ken is absolutely right. If you're in Port Charlotte, go to Vasani's. Even, even if you don't go see a comedy show, go eat the food. Yeah. It is that damn good. And I'm talking about a place, Patricio, that makes their own pasta. It is so damn delicious. But I will warn you, if you go to Port Charlotte, Ken, tell me if I'm lying, that town shuts down wow. at 10 o'clock. It Bro, even if you got an emergency, you call the cops, you call 911 after 10, you get a voice message. Bro, you see, <laughs> that, that, that don't work with me. That don't work with me. That's when I finish the second round is at 10 o'clock. There is nothing. I mean, all the restaurants shut down, not even yeah. fast food like Taco Bell. Late to them is 1030. Like that's oh. the that's the late night. I'm that's third think, meal. James, was that like that before the pandemic? Because I've been coming to this club for 14 some years. And yeah. I just I can't remember if everything always shut down like that. The, it's it's gotten earlier. Like before the pandemic, they stayed open a little bit later. Certain things, but no, people learned in the pandemic we ain't got to be open twenty four hours. Like Walmart, my Walmart stopped doing that. They're like, wait a minute, yeah, nobody needs to come here twenty four hours a day. And if you come in the middle of the night to Walmart. We probably don't want you here. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> so places just stop staying open late, like the uh, IHOP where I live. Like IHOP was always a place that we could go after a comedy show, no matter how late it was, just like Waffle House. But IHOP now closes at like 11. They don't even stay open 24 hours anymore. Damn. Yeah, I, I I had that uh, rude awakening a few weeks ago. I was, yep. on, I was on a date and we were just finishing the uh, where we were coming from. And we, it was already set in stone. She's coming over. Hey, let's get some snacks. We could cook at the house. It's all good. I'm thinking, because it's already past like 11, 30, 12 o'clock. And I pull into the Walmart parking lot. I'm like, Walmart got me covered. Walmart Walmart Shh, got me. Not mm -mm. anymore. Mm -mm. Nah, they, they shut it down, son. They're like, take your pajama ass to bed. Uh, <laughs> 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 Had to get her a Happy Meal at McDonald's later on that night, though. But Oh, wow. Yeah, that's a different story altogether. <laughs> That is so funny, man. And what happened to the drive through by the way, at McDonald's that you mentioned it? It used to be I could go there when it was open 24 hours. I'd go there anytime, and there'd be like maybe, let's say, three or four cars ahead of mm -hmm. me. Now when you go to McDonald's, it's 28 people in ahead of you. Yep. At, after 10 o'clock. What happened? And you got two uh lines. You got two, <laughs> two lines, but people don't even know how to merge. Like, <laughs> bro. <laughs> And why is it when you're pulling up to that to that fork in the road with the, either you you take line one or you take line two, you're like, I'm confident, I'm gonna take this one, no one's in it. And then line two, they've already gone Keeps through going. three cars. And I'm like, This is this ain't right, Ronald. This ain't right. <laughs> I was here first. I got my app ready, I got my code. I was here first. First, yeah. I'm not McLovin' it. Okay. Just saying, bro. <laughs> 
Man, I, I just want to shout out something real quick, man. I know we try to keep things on a very positive, lighthearted note here. We make you laugh. It's called Real Laughs. Uh, but I just got to say, man, one of the legends I grew up with actually passed away. And I just had to, I had to say something about it, man. I'm talking about Jerry Springer has Dang. passed away. Let me tell you something, man. Before I had a Patricio, a person that could explain everything about bondage and all kinds of different sexual orientations, I had Jerry Springer. I first learned about people getting beat for fun and safe words from watching episodes of Jerry Springer. I think we all were too young, mm -hmm. uh, but we all love to watch Jerry, 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 Jerry. Jerry. You just knew somebody's you top see? was going to come off. The censor bar was going to come out. That's when you knew <laughs> this is a part. I I grew up on that show. And during the summertime when, you know, I'd stay home, I'd watch The Price is Right, reruns of I Love Lucy. And Jerry Springer, I think mm -hmm. around one or two o'clock in the afternoon. One o'clock, man. Yeah. And, and it was so scandalous, you know. You know, that's my baby daddy, but he's also my cousin's brother's former roommate. And this is his <laughs> child that's also his cousin. But I think it's, it might be his sister, too. It's a long story. We all have fun here at the trailer park. <laughs> kind of stuff. But it's just like you, you, you lose the six degrees of, like, of – debauchery yeah, with, man, uh, man. with Jerry Springer, but it was always entertaining. It was a great show. I enjoyed watching it. I know it was considered, back in the day, what, what did they call it? Tabloid TV or trash yeah, tabloid, or whatever. Yeah. But bro, it was entertaining. And, and I gotta say, Jerry is the father of so much entertainment that we enjoy now. <laughs> Think about that, man. When it comes to ratchetness and just debauchery and the things that we love to make fun of, the train wreck on TV, we got to give credit to Jerry Springer. He's the one yeah. who started all that, man. And and the, the reveals were always funny. She's like, I, I'm not a woman. I'm a man. And then everybody losing the mind. Yep. But but I'm not also a man. I'm also a horse. It's just like it was just a reveal <laughs> after reveal. And I'm like, where does it stop? <laughs> I, I love the the, the, the crazy uh, storylines where they'd have the mom, the stepdad, and you find out the stepdad's having an affair with the stepdaughter. Like mm -hmm. it was, it was, it, it beat the curb. Pornhub owes everything to Jerry Springer. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yo, the whole stepsister storyline, that was a Jerry Springer. And Jerry also had spinoffs, which I found crazy. What was the security guard, Steve? Steve, Steve got Steve his Wolf. own show for, for no reason. Just the bald dude. He became <laughs> the next Jerry Springer for no reason, man. So shout out to Jerry Springer, man. Prayers to his family, man. I mean, he, he thoroughly entertained us throughout the early 2000s, man. Salute to you. Man. Wasn't he like a mayor of Cincinnati or something like that? He was. He was, he, was a, he was a politician, like a real one, like certified politician, man. He was ahead of the curve, uh, though, That's man. how you All know that... politics ain't... That's how you know politics ain't real, when, when no. Jerry Springer can be the mayor of your city. <laughs> <laughs> oh, our president <laughs> was... Our president was on, what do you call it, man? The Apprentice, what, what? a reality show. Reality <laughs> TV, man. What does that tell you, man? <laughs> hey, Jesse the Body Ventura, the governor of Minnesota. Yes, bro, but he was a wrestler. I respect gladiators. <laughs> I respect that, bro. Hey, that's how we should actually do elections. You got to fight in a, no, a, a cage match on WWE <laughs> yes, But I, I, I think it's, it's proper, if, if you guys would do it with me, let's give a three Jerry. You a know, three, Jerry. Like Jerry. You oh, you put three fingers up. I was like, oh, that was my go-to move in college. <laughs> <laughs> so, so in honor of Jerry Springer, let's do one more chant. Here you go, Jerry, 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 Jerry. 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 <laughs> we need a we need a censor bar over somebody's chest to make hey. it real. <laughs> hey, and, hey, and as y'all doing that, a chair comes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm gonna miss that show, man. That is hilarious, man. A chair couple. Oh, they had security on deck, man. Do you do you remember? And I'm sorry to bring it back. Uh, in the '90s, when the show was going on, they released uh, the Too Hot for TV VHSs of all the uncensored crazy action that would happen on the show. I remember that. Yeah, you could actually see. Uh, all the uncensored, like like breasts and stuff like that, and everything that was going on. Yeah, I I remember renting that from the sketchy video store uh, down the road from my house. And Bro, 
it was it was insane. The Bro, kind of stuff you, that got on you, TV in the nineties. I, I love that you just brought up something that we don't get to talk about very often because my kids will never know the stress of going to the uh, 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 the shady little vent, uh, video rental store. It wasn't a blockbuster. It wasn't a chain. You knew what you were getting into. The little swinging door to let yeah, you know you're going into the back. Had a little curtain. And had a curtain. <laughs> that's, where all, that's, where all the, that's where all the triple X was at, bro. Oh, man. Every I mean, I'm not saying I went back there like, like my friends told me. Oh, I did. It was like a dope bro. Movie I'm, I'm not saying I went back there a lot, but my picture was in that. <laughs> <laughs> and it was like this. <laughs> all the all the movie posters had a little like a four digit number on the side, so they knew we, like, oh, I want that one. Okay, they'll look in the back with the four digit code. Uh -huh. It was. I loved it. I, I missed that. That was that was my Friday. But I, but. But you had a, you couldn't have you couldn't do it in the privacy of your home. That's what made it so funny. Nobody made eye contact or said a word. It could be like five bro. dudes. Nobody said nothing. They were just like, <laughs> you know, what we're here for it. Don't say, it. don't look. It was it was the same rules as you go to a boy's bathroom. Nobody talks. Nobody looks from side to side. You just stay facing forward. Yeah, but the thing was with the with those video stores, like you had the regular boxes for every other film, mm -hmm. but for the adult films, it was an even bigger. It box was. It, it just it was. stood out it was bro you had to get a big box so you could see some box but yeah that's how, that <laughs> <laughs> that's how it worked <laughs> nobody the kids will never know the kind of stuff that we went through when you wanted to be a pervert back in the day like they can just pull their phone out go on google and have at it we had to actually go somewhere uh, walk in and, and not make eye contact with the cashier. They knew where we were going. So we'd walk <laughs> back into that little room, get the movie we wanted, and then you had to go pay for it. And you did not want a woman to be working the day that you went in to pay for your stuff. Never. You were like, please, let it be a dude. and he, He'll understand. He'll know, you know, we both creepy. But no, nah, the woman would look at you with like, judgment like oh this is what you want to rent did you uh did you find everything you were looking for you nasty <laughs> son of a bitch <laughs> i don't think i've ever been to one where a woman was working bro i have bro you're like oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, what does she disgust. remember you what does she remember you years down the line you like you you get off stage <laughs> and she's like yo I remember you from high school. What? Hey, yeah, you you didn't want it like um, BBC James. and Blondes. <laughs> yeah. Hey, ain't you? Yeah, it's you. Big booty hoes. <laughs> yeah. 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 You know, you never returned that uh, the, the video of uh, Latin teachers, Mr. Young. <laughs> Volume three through eight. That was you. Yeah. That was you. <laughs> Yeah, oh my gosh, man. All right, so shout out one more time to Jerry Springer, man. God bless you, man. Uh, rest in power, my friend. Now, guys, don't go anywhere. Uh, I'm going to talk to y'all about something, man. I, I just want to know, do y'all ever get celebrity fatigue? And here's what I mean by this. Celebrities that are in the news so much, even if they... In the mood, they're in the news so much that even if what they're going through is rough, you don't even care anymore because you are tired of hearing of them. I have two people right now that I'm going to talk about when we get back from break that are getting on my nerves because I hear about them every single day as I'm looking for news stories, all right? Guys, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. You're still listening to Real Last right here on Real Radio 104.1. We'll right. Howdy, welcome back. You are still listening to Real Laughs right here on Real Radio 104.1. My name is Mr. James John. I'm hosting today. I'm joined in studio with Ken Miller and our good friend Patricio, a.k.a. Rocket. You know and love him from the podcast with A Side of Chaos and from working at the Aaron Morris Law Firm. Uh, we always appreciate you being on here, man. And please give our best to Miss Aaron Morris because she always is so good to us. She does a lot of great things. So please share the love with her and let her know that we love her. 100%. She's in tr she's uh she's actually in trial right now that she actually won. We got the uh team's message about like 3 4 minutes ago that she she won the trial. Everything's great for our client. And yeah, it, you know. Nice. Another, okay. another ding ding. That's interesting, man. So when you guys win, a call goes out, a message goes out letting everybody know, "Hey man, the trial that everybody's been working on, the one that we've been spending so much time and work and effort on, we actually did it. We won." So everybody kind of gets informed that that way. Yeah, she uh, she's pretty good giving us the play-by-play uh, -play while she's in court. Okay. And because she has her computer on there, has everything available. 
and any updates that we need to do or anything that she needs for court, you know, we're like, we're ready. Court is the courthouse is down the street from us. And, mm -hmm. you know, there've been times they're like, yo, go, 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 go. She needs this right, right now. It's like, it's time to get in there. Gotcha. And yeah, it's always fun. You know, when she's in trial, we get minute uh, up to the minute report of what's going on. I like that. Now, do you guys have a tradition of when you guys win a, a case, you, you do something special or. We we have some you know in house traditions. Uh, we like to do a lot of uh, TikToks in regards to celebratory, uh, like that actions and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, all in all, you know, we're just happy that our client and their family is going to be happy. Which is cool because I got to give you guys credit. You guys have gone viral a couple of times, have you not? Mm -hmm. Bro, congratulations, man! That's awesome and not easy. Not easy, by the way. No, no, no. We're we're thankful that uh you know our content is is is, is decent and we're trying to spread as much knowledge and uh. Yeah, as much knowledge as possible to those who don't have it, and they're going through these uh, tough, uh, tough times. Yeah, and you do a, and you guys make it fun when you guys do it, man. So shout out to you guys real quick. Now, speaking of fun, I want to mention our new sponsor. I need you guys to give it up for 2018 Florida Magician of the mm -hmm. Year, Mr. Todd Bogue. Now, mm -hmm. I've actually had this gentleman work per, for me personally at my family events. He is the most amazing magician that you'll ever see. He's not just a magician too. I don't want people to think that. He's also a comedian. So when you watch his show, you're not only thoroughly entertained by the magic he's able to perform, but he's funny and you're laughing the entire time. So I got to tell you guys about the Ridiculous Comedy and Magic Show every Thursday night in Daytona at the Shores Resort and Spa. Now showtime's at 7 p.m. It's only $15. And again, it is hosted by 2018 Florida Magician of the Year, Todd Bowe. You guys have got to go check him out. Now, for more information, just visit toddbogejokes.com. Again, that's toddbogejokes.com. That's T-O-D-D-B-O-G-U-E-J-O-K-E-S.com. Check out my friend Todd Bogues. When you get there, please tell him that Real Labs sent you. Perfect. Now, I wanted to ask you guys about something that I'm, I'm experiencing. Now, every uh -oh. day on my, on my show, my TV show, I look up news stories so we can write for the monologue, man. And every day I hear about the same people. I see the same people. And it, it gives me fatigue where I don't even care what's going on in the celebrity's life. Even when it's something we need to get behind and support, I'm just tired of seeing them. My first couple that I feel this way about, you guys tell me if I'm tripping or not. I'm tired of seeing them. I'm tired of hearing them. I don't care what happened to them while they were over there. But I'm tired of hearing about Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Oh, God, you're right. Oh, God. Bro, every day. <laughs> like, y'all can't do something interesting every single day. I don't care who y'all are. I am tired of him. Okay, we get it. We get it. His family's not good. His family's racist. We get it. All right, I understand. You guys are over here now. What else you got? <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Yeah. What what else do you have to talk about besides that, man? I'm tired of seeing them on interviews. I'm tired of hearing about how they treated the baby. I get it. I'm sympathetic to you. But when did we stop talking about the same thing? I'm tired of hearing about them. Uh, South Park did a great, great parody. Like they they, they took their shot against uh, against Harry, and they they said it they set it up as a Canadian royal couple. And uh, it was all jabs at them that to the point where Prince Harry is now suing uh, the creators of South Park. For, oh, really? For the jokes that they did against him and uh, and, and the wife. God bless him, man. That's funny. I, 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 I like them, but I'm just tired of hearing about it. I don't. Uh, you, you, you're not tired? I'm, oh, no, you don't I, like them? I, I don't like them. <laughs> Damn. Is there a reason you don't like them? It, not, no. Just, just tired I, of them. I, I'm just tired. I, don't like him like I, gotcha. I, I i don't i don't get the hype i don't get the hype behind I, you know prince I, harry I and, and his girl that's because you ain't no prince bro <laughs> <laughs> only prince i recognize had chapless pants <laughs> 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 that was my prince and he said oh, hey, <laughs> hashtag, hashtag not my prince hashtag yeah. not my prince james did you see the, the on black twitter um what what's it's mega marco that's her name right yeah mega marco so apparently she her family had something to do with like freeing slaves or something back in the day. Okay. And it and it was calling her Carriet Tubman. <laughs> <laughs> like Karen and Harriet. <laughs> and it was like all these pics of her. It was like white pics. It was like they were picking her face and putting it on Harriet Tubman. Bro, oh, they God. Kind of, Black Twitter undefeated, bro. It is, bro. Black they Twitter undefeated. Hey, 11,000 in oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
here's another person that I'm tired of hearing about, believe it or not. Kanye. Every day I go to the news, they're talking about something Kanye did. Every Bro, when are we just going to let that man get some help and we're like, okay, when you get better, you come talk to us. Until then, we're taking all your social media away from you. You can't be on nothing. Okay, we're doing it because we love you. It's going to hurt us more than it's going to hurt you. But Kanye, please sit <laughs> your ass down somewhere. Bro. <laughs> damn, bro. I love Kanye, but damn, bro, he's just too much James, right now. I, James, just curious. Is, is all this our fault? Yes. Mm -hmm. If we didn't care, I'm talking about it right now, as a matter of fact. If we didn't care, we didn't comment, we didn't make posts about it, no one would be talking about any of this stuff over and over again. Honestly. I just, But I just don't get why people don't feel the same way I do. I've gotten tired of it every day. Like, I get tired. Like, politics for me is the same thing. I get tired every day. Uh, like, I go to social media uh, to escape. I want to just go there and see some 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 dumb TikTok videos. Even, even TikTok is political. I, I go there to see what uh, too too hot for TV. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, and, and and the crazy thing about it is when it's something we flood the market with. Flood it. Like when yeah. when Buddy got fired the other day. Don, Don Lemon, Lemon and, 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 Lemon. and uh, Tucker, Tucker Carlson. My, my Tucker whole timeline. And I'm like, y'all, y'all don't even watch the news. No. Like, like, <laughs> and I love the outrage from my black people when he got fired. I'm like, bro, when the last time y'all watched CNN? I don't watch it, but it's an outrage. And that's the thing. It's not CNN. It's, it's Fox News. Yeah, it's no, Don Lemon is no, Don CNN. Lemon was from oh, um, CNN. No. Yeah. Okay. I thought so you were talking about I'm outraged. You can't do that to a brother trying to work out here. <laughs> well, and then, of course, the conspiracies come out of why he got fired. Yeah. I don't know if you saw the video on DL's page. Um, he had a back and forth with some dude I, from the NRA. I saw that. Yeah, back and forth. yeah. He hey, like, he, uh, he served Buddy though. And yeah. <laughs> oh. Because Buddy said, Buddy said, the NRA had a lot to do with black people being free. Because we taught y'all how to shoot. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what? That's not how this works. <laughs> that buddy, buddy <laughs> said we taught y'all how to shoot, and that that helped y'all get y'all freedom. And he was like, "Bro, but we still wasn't free. We still oh, had a, a, a um, Jim Crow. We mm -hmm. still had segregation. Segregation. Like, what, yeah. What are you talking about, bro? Don Lemon wow. went in, bro. Yeah, he did." <laughs> But I don't think he would get. See, here's where I'm confused. I don't think he got fired over that. Either. I don't think he got fired over that. Honestly, because we they've had debates, heated debates. Yo, like Don, yeah. Don, Don Lemon told people, women, that their prime is past, <laughs> their prime is like 30 years old, <laughs> yeah. and he still was around. So I don't think that. Well, going back and forth, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Oh, I'm kidding. Bro, <laughs> don't do that, Patricia. I need my little Please job don't. right here on this radio, man. Don't Please, do that. I'm gonna tell you like this: be the best I ever had was way over 30. There you go, bro. Man, that thing way, bro. Hey, hey, them young ones be you got now. Get you an old one. That thing, that thing ready. Hey, and that, when you get done, she'll make you a sandwich. Bro, for real. That thing like a steak that been marinating for 40 years. <laughs> it's like, dry man, age. Bro, it's dry thing, aged. Bro, this thing tastes hey. like a Hawaiian ribeye. This is how I am. Hey, so some some guys, some guys like grape juice. We prefer wine. There you go, yeah, man. bro. She'll get you a word as original if you do a good job. Here you yeah, go, baby. I'm with, that. <laughs> I'm with that, yo. You know the type of woman that make you go get your blood pressure and everything checked. That's <laughs> right, man. Yeah, I, I like the women I'm like, boy, you ain't you ain't been to a doctor in five years. You need to go get your blood work done. Work that's, that's the women I need, bro. <laughs> Y'all out here oh, getting these little girls that got you eat terrible now, bro. You know you dating the right one when she got a blood pressure machine by the by the bed. Oh bro. my god! Yeah. Come, on. <laughs> Come on, man. She got the. No, I, <laughs> no, you're absolutely right. No, James, you're absolutely right. I've been, I've been, I've been seeing this nurse on the side for for a few weeks, and every time after everything that we do, she'll always tell me, "Oh, you should do this. This will make. This will help you with this. This will help you with that." Like, you know what? I ain't gonna listen. I don't care. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You'll listen yeah. for the first two minutes because you you feel good. That's mm -hmm. right. When you leave though, you ain't doing I nothing. I tell that, everybody man. all the time, man. You know, my wife older than me. My wife is the one. Like I would go to the doctor. Yep. But not like I go now. 
Yeah, bro, we talked about this before. No Dang. man, no married man would go to the doctor if it wasn't for his wife. Bruh. There's a, there, bro, there's a, there's a reason that, that there's even a medical industry. Why? That's it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, that's why they say married men live longer. Th that's why? Yeah, 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 man. And now unless My your wife, wife hates you, then she's going to be like, nah, boy, ain't no such gotcha. thing as a doctor. My, uh -uh. My <laughs> wife told me, boy, I want you to be around. She goes, I don't want you to die until I say so. <laughs> like, girl, you tripping, tripping, but I believe it though. Shout out to my wife. <laughs> Shout out to my wife, man. All right, guys. Uh, there's one more cup. There's one more. Oh, God, I don't want to forget. I want to tell you one more pe person that I'm tired of hearing about all the time. It was politics because that covers everybody. Trump, yeah. Biden, Kamala, everybody. I'm tired of hearing about, about, about that. But there's one more thing that I hear about all the time. That I was tired about hearing. I, I can't believe I'm, I'm blanking on this real quick. Who was it? Who was it? Who was it? You're not, talk, it. You're not talking about DeSantis, are you? No, yes. <laughs> no, okay. I said, I, bro, I'm just going to say this. I'm not a political guy. I know we don't get political in here, but bro, we live in a wild time. Is all it I'm is. Saying. <laughs> bro, that's it. Bro. That's all I'm saying. We live in a wild, wild time. But it was somebody else. DeSantis is a big one, but that's, 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 uh, goes the, without the, saying. The thing about the DeSantis thing is so weird to me is like, you, uh, uh, and, and it's on both sides, right and left. Yeah. Like y'all, like y'all, the rightful y'all follow this dude so hard, and some of his stuff is so outrageously crazy. But because that's the way you vote, you don't you, even sit back and think like, okay, man, that's kind of that. That's kind of uh, crazy. That's kinda crazy. <laughs> you, 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 you just shouldn't let Floridians carry guns. Like, bro. yeah, <laughs> like bro, yeah. you get a gun. You get, you a, get gun. a gun. Bro. Everybody hey. gets a gun. Bro, look under your hey, hey, look under your hey. seat right now. Everybody gets a deputy. <laughs> I'm just like, clack, bro, clack. Let's, hey, let's ban these math books for kindergartners because yeah, it's sexual in it. What math book you ever open up? I don't care what grade you in. I'm what gonna tell you right book now. You ever open the, up got some booty in it? Oh, bro, can you? You ain't never worked with sexy equations. <laughs> no, yeah. Bro, I have. I'm oh, thinking about it, Ken. You can't mm -hmm. you can't teach division to little kids because one number goes into another number. That's Ooh. sex. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what's, what's, hey, what's, what's two plus one? Uh, threesome. Threesome. <laughs> <laughs> they be teaching these kids about threesomes, bro. That is dirty right ooh, there. I'm just ooh, telling you, girl, math tell, tell, is the devil, and the baby, devil is math. Baby, uh, tell me about your variable. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, dog, uh, what is math spelled backwards? Ho. <laughs> <laughs> what? Like, what? Where did, where did you see that at? Failed math hey guys, and spelling. <laughs> don't go anywhere. We'll be right back, right here on Real Last, Real Radio 104.1. That's hilarious. Back, everybody. That's right. You have just come back, and we're still listening to Real Radio. Real, I'll, I'll let's do that over. I just messed that up. 3130. And this is for tonight's episode, right? Yep. Okay. This is for tonight. Let me talk in English this time. There we go. Five seconds. Welcome back, everybody. You are still listening to Real Labs right here on Real Radio 104.1. The voice you're hearing today, the host, Mr. James John, in the building. I'm in virtual studio with some good friends of mine, Patricio, a.k.a. Rocky. You know and love him from the podcast with a side of chaos. We also got the godfather of Orlando comedy, Mr. Ken Miller, in the building as well. Now, I got to say something to you, podcast father, uh, uh, Patricio. Podfather, I, podfather. Podfather, okay, podfather. Let me, let me get my, my, my uh, title right. <laughs> Podfather, if you will. Now, I saw you made a post and you completely fooled me with it. I thought that you had gotten your ass beat because you made a post of your eye welled up, black. I think your lip was busted and it looked real. Like you pulled it off. I, I didn't know what had happened. I thought maybe you was, you know, you and, you and a young lady got, you know, were having some fun and you forgot the safe word. And uh... <laughs> <laughs> The safety word is always banana and I never forget that. There you go, bro. So what was that you used to make that happen like that? So shout out to my boy, uh, Carlos Otero. Him and I were hanging out at uh, Graffiti Junction last night. And we're, we're, we're always playing around with the filters on Snapchat. And 
if you ever if you have Snapchat and you haven't messed around with it, check the filters because every day they're putting on a new feature. The technology is getting better, and there's one uh, filter that gives you a really messed up black eye. And when I got to that, when we we're just looking at each other, like, oh my god, this looks this looks really yo, really real. Yo, no lie, that, it looked like you got punched in the eye for real. It didn't look like a filter at all. I was worried, like I didn't know what had happened to my yeah, boy. I, like, I, that's serious. I thought you got beat up for real. Like I really <laughs> did. And I I loved it because like we we're all laughing. We we're just laughing about this. And then he was like, "I dare you." I'm like, "What?" He's like, "I dare you to post it." I'm like, say say less. I got you. So I, uh, you know, say, save the photo, put it up on my on my social media, and, and James, everybody, yeah, James Whoa. Ken, within like three minutes, my phone is buzzing, my Instagram, everything is just blowing up. Like, bro, are you okay? Do we need to come out? Who we got to take down? Who I know, right? Out? Yeah. <laughs> I, I had uh, I had my my office like I had the receptionist I had uh, my boss like they're like are are you okay do we need do, like do we need to get down there do we need to file a report like what's going on I'm like um, it's just a filter like nothing nothing yeah, happened no, no, yeah nothing serious happened but, but it, of, it definitely go ahead I'm sorry no I'm saying and, and like there were other people that I just kept like oh no it's fine you know they everything's okay don't worry about it but I didn't say it was fake I just just said like don't worry everything's okay. <laughs> So people still think like I don't know what happened to Patricio, man, but somebody got did him dirty, son. But 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 me seeing it got me thinking about the last time I actually got my ass whooped in a fight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, do y'all do y'all remember that? Like the time you like, bro, I really got my ass whooped. Just <laughs> and, and, and this is the one thing. This is why I didn't feel bad for like tricking people because here's the thing: if you've ever been in a fight, and my boy Kyle uh, Kyle Shuffle here, he said it clearly: like a bruise doesn't happen that quickly. <laughs> It happens after, you know, certain, yeah. like about 12, 14, 18 yeah. hours for it to be that bad. And I'm like, for the people who question that, they ain't never been in a fight. Nah, nah, not at all. But I would tell you, man, I remember I was in, a, it had to be fourth grade. No, nah, no, nah, I'm lying. It was like seventh grade, as a matter of fact. Uh, I was running my mouth at a uh, recess like we always used to do back in the day. Man, you know how you come on, man. You mm -hmm. you, you play the dozens game and yeah. you know who the loser of the dozens game is because he's the first one to get mad. And <laughs> <laughs> that, right? is, that, that is facts, facts, bro. So I won the battle, but I lost the war oh. because that dude got mad. And he, he decided to take it out on my face. And let me tell you, he had some hell of a punchlines. Black brother whooped my ass. <laughs> Literally punchlines. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> <This dude said. laughs> he had some great punchlines. He, he bloodied my nose. I had white on that day because that's how that works. When you get a bloody nose, you have to have white on it. So yeah. yeah. Dripped if you all got white down. On, if you got white on, you know you're getting your ass kicked sometimes. Oh, you man. are. You are. That's how the fight works, too. Anybody wearing white, you're losing. Yeah, mm -hmm. so I get bloody, beat up, man, and 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 I sat there the whole time thinking, you know what? I could have avoided that. <laughs> I blame myself. <laughs> so, man, so uh, do y'all remember the last time y'all got oh, in a fight? Y'all yeah. got your Hell ass yeah. whooped? Hell really? Yeah, bro. really? <laughs> oh, I was in the military. What? I was, yeah, I was in the military. I tell this story all the time. Anytime I meet a Marine, we were out at a bar. Oh. It was 27 of us and five Marines, and they beat our uh, ass, bro. I do, and I was trying to break up the fight. Yeah. And I grabbed one of the dudes, and I guess his buddy thought I was trying to do something. Man, mm -hmm. that dude clocked me in the mouth in the in the jaw, sliced the whole inside of my mouth up, bro. Woo! Yeah, couldn't eat nothing spicy, nothing like that for like weeks, bro. And I tell people this all the time: if you're a marine and you listen to this, you cannot. This how you kill a marine: you shoot the marine. <laughs> you hey, hold up! You shoot the marine, you decapitate that marine, then you take that body and everything, you put it in a bag, and you take it out to the middle of the ocean where they bury Megatron, and you throw <laughs> that body in there. That is the only way to kill a marine, bro. bro. Yo, kid said kill Dracula. He said, <laughs> <laughs> "Bro, burn them at the stake." Them, them dudes fight. They because they're trained. They're they're they mentally are mentally trained to die. 
Yes. They are mentally trained to die, bro. They are not, they do not lose. Marines do not lose. You have to kill a Marine in order for a Marine to bro, lose. That is their kept, training. Bro, Ken was fighting them for so long, a little energizer bunny rap came through. <laughs> <laughs> Keeps going, <laughs> and go, bro. <laughs> bro. That is facts, bro. Bro, okay. So, how did you end the fight then? Oh, the MPs, the MPs oh, finally pulled okay. up. Okay, and, okay. and, and then they gave uh, then, then they gave all of us the ass whooping. <laughs> so, really? Yeah, yeah, them MPs came through that, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and everybody was running to their cars, getting up out of there. I, I think I left my car. I think I just. <laughs> Because on base, on base where this club was, our barracks were about a mile and a half. You know, you just had to cut through some desert and some stuff like that. Man, I think yeah. I just left my car. I think I just took, because I didn't want to get arrested. So I was Because you like, would have gotten in trouble, trouble, right? Oh, yeah, and I was the model soldier. So if, oh, if wow. I got arrested, my first sergeant was going to kill me. Ooh. Yeah, so I was like, I ain't getting in trouble. And we dipped, bro. Dipped out. And I, had to, I went to the TMC the next day and and it, it was a luckily it was a cool doctor and I was like he's like yeah what really happened and I was like man we got into a fight at the NCO club last night he says I right. oh. and then stitched me all up but he could have been ever, like I need to call your first sergeant for, he could have not let me ask you a dumb question do you ever run into those same Marines at the bar again now it so it was two clubs on base it was the NCO club and then there was another club that was in the near the training facility that was kind of new where people went for school. And okay. we and we went to that club. We went. We we shouldn't have been there anyway, because there was for it's uh, called AIT, which is training. We weren't supposed to fraternize with those those people at that club. But it it was a brand new club. We nineteen twenty. We dumb. We dumb. Young dumb. Yeah. And full of, you know what? Yep. Yeah. So we like, man. We ain't gonna obey y'all rules. We going down there, bro. Had why you why you BSing? I had on a a a white and blue Carolina <laughs> jersey. Yeah. I had on my Carolina jersey. I had some shorts on. We went down and it's Arizona, so it's summertime, so it's hot as a mug. And uh -huh. We shouldn't have been down there. And that's that was God telling me that's what you get. Did you, did you get blood on the white shirt? I blood on everything. That's how it works. I got lumped up, bro. He yeah, that, that bro. dude lumped me up, bro. Bro, that dude, <laughs> that dude went on to be Mike Tyson. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, that dude went on to manage Kenny's grocery stores. Bro. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> now, Patricio, let me ask you, man. Do you remember the last time you got your ass whooping a fight? So, I'm not. I'm not trying to flex. I'm really not. Mm -hmm. I I I trained in martial arts for for eight years. I did boxing for five. I I know when to fight and when not to fight. Okay. Uh, but the last time I actually got into a scuffle. It was it was uh, here in the milk district in uh, here in Orlando. That's where it should go down the milk district. Yeah, that and, sounds right. <laughs> that sounds about right, man. And homeboy kept talking to my my my, my female friend. Now her and her not you know nothing going on, but she wasn't she wasn't feeling it. So you know I come in I'm like hey bro you know she's she's just not into you just let it go. Mm -hmm. And of course he's had a couple of beers. He's like yo don't yeah. disrespect me like that. Get out of my face. Starts pushing me. And of course, I just went, "Hey, just calm down. You know, there's there's no need for this." Pushes me again, and I I literally just picked him up and threw him on the table, and that was it. Wow, bro, you Hulk Hogan, Andre the Giant, like <laughs> <laughs> body slammed him. <laughs> did you, did you ripped your shirt off. All right, brother, take your vitamins. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I, I, I know for I know how to punch. I know how to hit someone, mm -hmm. and if I hit them. And they're not used to th these kind of impacts. I ain't, I'm going to jail. It's, it's done. It's, gotcha. it's over. It's done. Yeah. So, like, to just like put someone into submission or just you know put them on the ground or just get, get them uh, disoriented. I'm gonna do yeah. that. I'm not gonna go you know fight you, punch you in the face because I gotcha. might kill you, bro. Uh, okay, I like the fact you like I'm gonna hold myself back so I don't get in trouble by hurting somebody. I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm the opposite. I am 47 years old. I ain't got no fight in me. <laughs> bro, I, I ain't do. Bro. I, bro, I'm gonna need. To, I ain't got none of that in me. I'm sorry. Hey. I'm gonna have to stretch. I'm gonna have to. <laughs> I'm hey, gonna have I'm gonna talk to... though. Hey, man, everybody, yeah. I fight everybody up in here. But I'd be like, man, please don't really want to fight, bro. Lord, Kenny please don't. Really I will kill everybody. <laughs> I kill everybody in here. 
And I'd be like, Lord, please don't let them call my blood. <laughs> I'll start <laughs> praying to Lord get, about, about my knees. I'm beat up tonight, hey, bro. Hey, hey, Lord, please be with my knees. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, I'm about to be on somebody tick. I'm about to be on another Jerry Spring. <laughs> Where'd the chair come from? <laughs> Jerry, Jerry. <laughs> oh my God. Oh man, we got to get up out here in just a couple minutes, man. But I want to give you guys an opportunity to tell everybody where you guys are going to be this upcoming weekend. Patricio, where are you going to be, bro? Tell everybody all the crazy stuff that you got going on. So if you are driving right now, I need you to pull over and put in Graffiti Junction Thornton Park because right now we have our open comedy mic going on at Graffiti Junction Thornton Park from 9 till a little bit past 11, so come on down. Always, nice, man. Always go to my website, withasideofchaos.com, to check out all the events that I do throughout the uh, Central Florida area. And over to you, Ken. And hey. Wait, before we do that, I want to make sure I say this because he is the pod father. The pod father. That's right, Orlando Podcasting, man. I love it. Now, Ken, where are you going to be this weekend, brother? Man, right now, if you're listening, I am in Port Charlotte at Vasani's Comedy Club. I will be here um, Friday and Saturday as well with Orny Adams. And then Sunday, I'm at the Miami Improv with David Nihil. Bro, you got a run going on, man. Orny Adams, like run. he's actually the dude that was on the Jerry uh, Seinfeld uh, yeah. documentary, man. I Comedian, right? Yeah, I think so. Which yeah, I'm gonna, yeah, which I'm gonna watch today because I don't know who he is. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> and guys, if you're listening tomorrow, I'm gonna be performing with my good friend Absar Siddiqui. We're gonna be actually at the Riverside Theater in Vero Beach for Comedy Zone. So, guys, go get your tickets right now, man. Go to um, Comedy Zone website. Go to my website. Uh, go to uh, my social media. You'll see where you guys can actually get tickets. I would love to see you there. I want to remind everybody before we go. Thank you for all the support you guys give us. We love it. We need it. But please. Make sure you follow us on social media. Go to our Facebook page, Real Last. Follow us there. Go to Instagram, Real Last. Follow us there. And right now, you guys can actually see these faces on YouTube. We need y'all to go there, look up Real Last, subscribe, like, comment, share everything that we do. We can't keep going without your support. So thank you once again. On behalf of myself, Mr. James John, Ken Miller, and Patricio. Ken, tell them what they need to do. Take your ass to bed. <laughs>